Welcome to Weathermatic's Getting Started video series. Today we'll be looking at programming the SmartLine controller in Smart Mode. Smart Mode uses information provided by a SLW weather sensor and information programmed into the controller for more efficient watering. To get started, first program your controller for basic mode. After your controller has been programmed for basic mode, turn the dial to the zip code slash latitude position. The display will read zip. Press the next button. Use the up and down button to set the first digit of your zip code. Then press next. Use the up and down button to set the second digit and press next. Repeat this process until your zip code has been entered. If you would like to use latitude instead of zip code, press the up button after the dial has been set to the zip code slash latitude position and press next. Use the up and down buttons to set your latitude. Next, turn the dial to the sprinkler type position. The left side of the display will show the zone number and the right side will flash off. Use the up down buttons to cycle through the sprinkler types. Spray, rotor, drip, and bubbler. There is also the option to set a custom precipitation rate found by advancing past these options with the up button. If you would like this zone to use the basic run time instead of the smart run time, press the down button while the display reads off. The display will read basic. Once the sprinkler type has been set, press the next button to advance to the next zone. Use the same process to set the sprinkler type for all your zones. After the sprinkler types have been set, Turn the dial to the plant type position. The left side of the display will show the zone number and the right side will read sea turf or cool season turf. Use the up down buttons to cycle through plant types. Warm season turf, shrubs, annual colors, trees, or native plants. If you know your plant's crop coefficient, advance past these options to set the percentage value. After you have selected the plant type, press next to advance to the next zone. Repeat this process until the plant type has been set for all zones. Once the plant types have been set, turn the dial to the soil type position and press next. The left side of the display shows the zone number and the right side shows the soil type. Use the up down buttons to set the soil type, choosing from clay, sandy or loam. After the soil type for the first zone has been set, press the next button. Repeat this process until the soil type has been set for all zones. After the soil type has been set, press the back button. The screen will read soil type. Press the up button so that the display reads slope and then press the next button. This menu lets you set the slope of the landscape for each zone. Use the up and down buttons to set the slope in degrees and the next button to advance through the zones. If you would like to increase or decrease the amount of time zones are being watered, this can be adjusted with the more slash less feature. Turn the dial to the more slash less position. Use the up or down buttons to set the percentage value ranging from plus 25 to negative 50. Your controller is now ready to use. Thank you for continuing to support Water With Purpose. Subscribe to this channel for the latest from Weathermatic.